Uh, this is Meta Monday discussions. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to discuss about the meta that's this week, uh, December starting December fourteenth with the uh, it should be Mashuri and Ramada uh, winter versions uh, bonus week. Um, but before we go, before we talk about that, uh, we're going to talk about these cool vision cards that are coming out <clears throat> and how they will affect the meta. Um, I think it's going to be a kind of Lancer missile meta uh, and water unit meta this week uh, just because of the increased a uh, AoE resist. So I think this card would be good, but uh, and this card would be made better with this map's uh, resist area effect ability. So if you equip this card, essentially you got to swap this out for Federico's Dreams, and what this will do is it will... Um, what this will do is it will basically uh, give you a weaker version of Federica's Dreams and Odin, which is not bad when you combine two effects of a card to one, even though if there's a slight decrease in uh, strength, it's still a good idea. Uh, I think uh, if you have this card in the Snowfield Arena right now, you will have, um, you will still have the, you'll have both, you have both uh, abilities, right? It's still the Snowy Mountain map. So all I said in the previous video uh, still applies. But basically, this this card essentially gives you the Odin effect plus the feel reducing effect plus the uh, uh, plus the feel effect from the the feel. You get basically Odin, Federica's dreams, and Death Machine all at once. And if you pair it up along with the uh, Odira card, that makes it so that uh, uh, you don't have to worry about AOE at all. Uh, AP acquisition up. Okay, so basically this card is really Lucia's card, right? Because uh, of this limited effect. I expect this to be 20, similar to uh, the Odira one. Um, but I don't think AP right up is that big for Lucia. Um, I do run her in a gunner team, and I don't seem to have that much AP issues. Obviously, more AP the better, but I, I don't see her having that. <laughs> um... The next card is Fated Clash. I really like the art here. It makes Shadow Links look really cool, uh, and it really, it really uh, brings out the crazy in Ryu. Uh, dark Attack Up, I think, is decent. There are better Dark Attack Up cards like Diablo, but this Charm Resist, depending on how much Charm Resist this is, um, it, ha it can see some niche uses because Double Quicken Charm is a thing in um, is a thing in uh, uh, fast matches. So, I would say, like, this card is niche. Um, I don't think it's limited, so I'm not gonna pull for this. If this comes in a step up, I might consider it, just because it's so cute. And you don't expect it to be so cute with, uh, Lucia, because she's kind of sadistic. Um, but yeah, uh, if this was a step up, I might pull on it, but, uh, it might be a pass for me, because I already have I'm already working on Federica's Dreams, and I don't see the AP right up being that massive. Like, assuming the highest AP rate up, I think, let's say it's 50, uh, let's say you get, which I don't think you will get on a pistol effect, I think you might get like 30. Um, but basically, uh, firing stance I believe is 36 TP, so you get an extra, uh, you get an extra 15%, so that's 8, uh, that's another 18. Uh, normally, so you get 36. So uh, basically, if it was 50%, you get your max, uh, whatever your TP is, that you'll get that as AP, which is really good. Um, but like I said, she's not AP star. Uh, I have never really had too much issue with her not being able to use her abilities. So, especially because at first turn she'll use, um, she'll use firing stance and she'll have about 40 AP. So I don't think that's a big issue. Uh, so I don't think those I don't think either of those cards are really gonna change up the meta What I do think might change up the meta is uh, These new accessories, right? Um, these, these things are coming back platinum robe. I think is big if you didn't a lot of people don't didn't get the chance to max out a platinum robe Platinum robe is big uh, the soul of Tomasa, I believe is a really strong uh, caster accessory um, You can really use it on those you might be able to use it in those bills where you don't even hold a weapon Sometimes uh, some builds just don't hold a weapon, like uh, 
fully vacant, fully vacant on won't use a weapon. So I see this accessory as being the big prize here. I already have a purple lightning plus five. Um, the dagger, the, the purple lightning plus five is insane, but um, not like meta breaking. Uh, it's the best sword for Laswell, but it's been a while since Laswell came out. So if you didn't get a chance to get it, you probably should get it. But not not that crazy. It's not that meta defining. It was also the first plus five UR weapon I ever maxed out. Actually, it was the first plus five I ever had. Uh, I was hoping that I would be like super god tier with uh, Laswell and one shotting everybody. Yeah, that wasn't really the case. So yeah, uh, I think the biggest thing that will impact the meta is probably Soul of the Master. But even then, not next week, because it's going to take you at least a week to farm this two-headed dragon thing to get a plus five version of this. Um, so I don't think uh, this would have an immediate impact. But these will definitely be like long-term staples in Arena. People will definitely use them. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the Wasa and we didn't get uh, we didn't get the Ras Alketia event back. I don't know what this daily mission thing is, but I'll probably feature it in a video. I think it'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, these two cards, uh, I would say very little impact on the meta. Uh, when attack up, there aren't that many good Earth units to fight. Uh, there aren't that many good earth units that really require so much win attack. Uh, I think Lucia in and of herself can already take out Kilfei pretty well. Um, Eni Lilith isn't a thing yet, so we don't have to worry about that yet. Um, yeah, I think that's all the earth units I can really think of. Um, I mean, I guess there's Ketone, but Ketone versus Lucia is basically a one-shot with a sharpshoot, right, because Katone normally don't have that much health, and maybe they'll build, maybe they're building, uh, unless they're building Drain Force, I guess, but Drain Force is really difficult to build. Um, but if they're building Evade, that's one, that's basically one sharpshoot to the face and you're dead. So, uh, and that's with or without this card, so this is more of a cherry on top type of, type of deal than it is, like, a must-have. I mean, if you don't have Federica's Dreams, then this would be a really good card for you because of the because of the extra attack up. Unfortunately, I have both Federica's Dreams and Odin leveled, so it's awkward for me. Uh, this is the sim this is a similar situation to the um, Demon Wall card versus uh, versus running through Snowfield, um, except like uh, the Demon Wall is a definite definitely better situation. Um, this, uh, I would say it's a bit better than Federica's Dreams, uh, just a little bit, but not enough that I would have to pull this and max it, uh, so this will come when it comes, basically, uh, that's just niche, so this might have an impact in class matches against those, uh, double quick and charm teams, but, like, <laughs> that's kind of far, be that's few and far between. Um, on to Arena, uh, I think last week I closed out at 125-ish. Um, this week is definitely going to be Ramada Mashiri, right? And I was talking about the meta here, I think in the upper levels, in the top 100s, it's probably going to be Ma you're going to see a lot more Ramada than you're going to see Mashiri. Just because she counters her. Uh, even though Mashiri kind of can fight back with the 20% slash resist, uh, Soitong is a thing. Soitong will go right through that uh, that calculation. Also, um, she has fist attacks. If that if that comes in, if it comes down to that, she might be able to fist attack her. Uh, also, uh, Ramada has the ability to um, she can run Drain Force. Um, she doesn't have a lot of HP, but Man Eater is a thing, right? So you can always see how much Man Eater you can stack on her. Um, I would say. Uh, probably can stack something like 60% man eater on her because um uh because titan is a thing but i don't know if titan's gonna affect rain force stuff so at the very least you can get 35 man eater with uh 35 man eater with the two, two odin cards so then you're looking at 35 of your maximum hp plus another 35 and uh there, there are some drain force builds where i seen the guy like drain for 85% of their health. So, 
I don't, I don't think Mashiri will do very well against that. But the bigger thing, the bigger reason why I don't think Mashiri would do well against um, Ramada is Ramada has that water buff. She gives water buff to everybody, that water. And water has a ton of units. Unlike fire, fire does not have that many units. Uh, I have every unit in the game that's uh, not including the limited ones. And like, all I'm missing is the leader. So really, it's Rain, the leader, and Mashu. These are three fire units. Technically old, but I've never seen old be used in arena. So might be his time to shine, but I doubt it. Uh, so. Here's an elemental advantage. Uh, she takes reduced damage from fire, and you have to know that water ring is a thing, right? So, let me see if I can quickly draw up a team here for her. And I just gotta find a team that I don't want. Oh, wait, that's my class match team. Uh, okay, I guess this is fine. So, I guess I would throw out Ramada here. Uh,. I do have a plus five golden blade that I haven't leveled up yet, so plus five golden blade. Uh, something like Odin, I guess. Run Odin with her. Or, um, the cool thing about her is you can also run uh, Golem with her if you're gonna Drain Force. And Golem is a good combination because it reduces, it gets rid of her, it gets rid of her uh, lightning weakness. And I don't have Resonance of Odin, uh, with Titan yet though, but I can pump that out pretty quick. Uh, that gets rid of her lightning resist or lightning weakness. So that's that's pretty big. Uh, you can always run Fenrir. Uh, she has minus twenty because of because I don't have any of these maxed out. My self sacrifice is level one. That's why she has minus. That's why she's showing minus twenty resistance. Basically, uh, I haven't really been building Ramada. I've been mostly building uh, Mashiri. Ramada is more glass cannon-y than Nashiri is, though. So here I would give her the Exorcist card. <clears throat> this triple trick is insane. <clears throat> it's a slash type attack, but uh, if you use it on someone that's not Mashiri, they'll most likely die because of how strong her attack is on top of a three-hit attack. Uh, you can run Golem with Maneater and Defense, or Maneater uh, Lightning Killer uh, to, to fight back against... Or man yeah. Maneater or, um, I guess, not really lightning resist, I would build it with Maneater and armor, I guess, is normally how I would have my oak, my golem. <clears throat> and then Ildira, you want either to have uh, Old Solidus here, because she's the only magic unit that we're going to run, or you're going to have her hold the uh, new Ildira card. Oh, where's my Ildira card? This card right here. This card crazy as well. Um, comes with an ability that can immobilize. That can AO this is comes with an AOE immobilize and another uh, and another area resist. This max out is at 20. Area resist 20 on top of the area resist. So that's another 15, I guess, 15, 20. So you got like 35% area resist. That's gonna kill anything. Um, and then you probably run Glacella as your bruiser. Um, but also water ring is a thing, right? So, uh, if you equip water ring on her, you can have something like 50% resist to fire. Uh, what's her face? Um, not sure you won't be able to do anything with you with a 50% resistance to fire. So, <clears throat> that's why I think, like, it's gonna be the top end PvP is gonna heavily favor Ramada teams. But that remains to be seen. But of course, like, the, this is based on, like, logical conclusion, right? Because the Ramada team has the full water support, water a uh, water advantage, on top of the Exorcist card and the uh, Holiday Party card going for it. So, uh, based on these two cards and the buff alone, you can tell that, like, Ramada side has a huge advantage over the Mashri side. Uh, and then in terms of Mashiri, I don't even know what to build for Mashiri. I mean, uh, for Mashiri, what I would do is that this regular gunner build I've been running, right? So, Mashiri, uh, uh, Ifrit, and I'll try to hunt some ice teams. Um, that other team I built, like, uh, 
and then I, I don't have to run Federica or Orlando here to cover for her water weakness if I have to run walk if I have to run Mashery. Um, even though you don't lose points when people attack you, uh, it's actually pretty hard. It, it's still hard for you to attack water users, right? Um, but this team right here, like you can switch this person. You can switch um, Shella for Agrius if you want as a tank, and then move the water ring over to Ramada. Uh, and then Ramada would have a ton of water resist, uh, a ton of fire resist, on top of having Agrius tank and uh, and Eldira heal. And Eldira equipping Ramu is there to uh, uh, supposedly remove the uh, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry and. Eldira equipping Ramu would help uh, resist against some of the water you're gonna end up fighting as well, where you fight mirror matches, and her insane wa and her insane magic resist on top of the magic resist buff that if you have like 80% magic resist. So um, I think Eldira Ramada would be a very good combination for this upcoming meta. Uh, but I don't think like there's, and I, I don't really think there's anything that the Mastery can can do to uh, the fire to the water team. I mean, I guess we'll see because I'm gonna end up running Mashery because my Mashery is more built up. But like, uh, Mashery can have something like uh, if you put Solidus and Fenrir, you can have 40 slash resist, 40 magic resist, 40 ice resist. Uh, this will straight up kill any ice build. Like, I've 1v5 with this, I, I, I 1v3 with this build before. Um, but I don't think she's strong against. Uh, I don't think she's very strong against water, and that uh, I guess that's just how it is. Of course, like her support abilities can help a lot because she has Viking Lord for the HP buff. Uh, she has ref uh, she has reflex. The reflex is really big. Like she can she can use reflex and dodge a lot of water spells. But the problem is like I don't foresee her being one shot it. But if she gets hit by something like um. If she gets hit by something like a Soi Tong, that will bypass all of her resistances and that, that'll suck. Like, it'll hit her for like 3k. It might one-shot her. Uh, I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll definitely one-shot her, but if she gets hit by it, it'll be really bad. Um, also because Soi Tong has really strong, really long range as well. Not as long as, like, Mashuri's ranger abilities, but still decently long. Um, I guess what Mashuri has going for her is technically her support card, uh, her cards is gonna be Efrit and the Wind Spear. These are the two things that Mashri has going for her. There isn't really a special fire equipment like there is for the Water Ring. And the only other fire, uh, the only other fire support vision card there is is um this one right here. This will pull 35 fire if you have it maxed out. But honestly. Uh, people aren't going to be running fire teams, right? Because because Grimada is a thing. Um, they'll probably be mixed in, mix in Mashery with whatever team they normally have, and hope that they can kind of eat out a win there, uh, and just basically pick on some other player that's not using Mashery. I mean, that's not using uh, Ramada. and that's how Arena goes. But basically, in the top tiers, I believe like it'll it'll be very similar to that Kane Rosa situation where Kane and Rosa. Uh, Last week, you all you almost exclusively saw Kane. You don't. I don't even see any Rosa. I fought like five Rosas in the, in like all week. Was it two weeks? I think it was two weeks. Uh, I think the Kane Rosa uh, event was like two weeks, and I I fought like five five Rosas maybe. A couple of them were the same guy. Uh, so like the number of Rosas I fought, I can fight, I can count in one hand. The number of Kanes I fought, they basically filled the whole list. And then occasionally you got the one guy that's not running either as their defense team, which really helps. But yeah, uh, I think it's gonna be heavily Ramada favored. Um, going forward, I think um, uh, depends on really how long this map lasts. And this is really my worst map, especially in guild battle, because I don't have a way to. Uh, I don't have. A real, I don't really have a good way to uh, fight two teams in the snowy field map. I can run this gunner team and it will kill anything in guild in uh, guild match. Uh, but then I'll be out of juice for the second match. So this is not a very good map for 
Oh, this is a really difficult map to get two wins on. Uh, I guess unless you're running Slash. But I don't have a, That's the one thing I'm not running, right? I have a Lance team, I have a Gun team, I have a Magic team, I have an Anti-Magic team, I have an Evade team, I just don't have a Slash team. So that kind of stuff. Um, I guess Ramada will be the first dip to the Slash team. I will definitely be making videos on Ramada. Um, we will have to start maxing her skills. She is at 89, and she has the ability, so that's good. But like, uh, I believe the big thing to her, her, um, her big aces are, uh, the Hazard Break, uh, Triple Trick, um, and then depending on how well Sui Pong works, I might use Sui Pong, I might use, um, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, yeah. uh probably, uh, her limit, her limit burst is not that good, so probably I'll try to use Sui Pong, I'll probably try to use Drain Force. The problem with Drain Force build is I don't have a maxed out, I don't have a maxed out Golem card. Um, so that kind of sucks. Because uh, it's all about how much HP you have. And for Drain Force builds, and I don't even have this at plus 3 or plus 2. So this is, uh, I don't think Drain Force is happening. I might run it for fun to see how, how hard she would hit with it. But uh, unfortunately not with this account. And neither is my Siren. My Siren isn't really leveled up either. Um, the Siren part would be very good for those water matchups, the mirror matchups, uh, with the water resist. But like, uh, I guess she gets 35 water on top of the 20 that the Eldira card gives. Eldira would have 55 water. Uh, so she'll hit really hard, but not on this map because there's minus 35 area of effect. So yeah, uh, I think that's it uh, for our discussion today. Um, I don't think, uh, to summarize, I don't think any of the, uh, I don't think either of these two vision cards are going to make that big of a difference in the meta. Uh, upcoming wise, I think um, the Soul of the Masa will be the biggest uh, meta, new meta item. Um, but I don't see the Soul of the Masa like, being used within like the first three days. I don't even see it being used in the first week. It's gonna take a it's gonna take a good week to farm this the plus five. Um and then I just still see I still see Ramada meta because the map didn't change. Um and that they're they're being a water team, right? because uh, all the all the vision cards favor her, the elemental bonus favor her. So if she still loses to Moshery, if there's still a ton of Moshery on the top on the top one hundred, uh that's really bad for her. Uh, that, that basically speaks to Ramada not being that strong. I don't think that's the case. I think I think her advantage on, against Mashiri is pretty absolute. Um, like, there are ways... I mean, you can build Mashiri in a way that, like, um, you can kind of resist it, but that's basically reinforcing your weaknesses. Uh, like what Cabbage says, you should probably go on your, go on your strengths. Her strengths are... Um, her strengths are high damage, good resistance, the slash and magic, so go hunt slash and magic don't really challenge, you're not really going to challenge water type units, right? Um, and the other thing about Mashiri is there is no good, there's no good Spear Esper that is, uh, that's electric type. Uh, the electric type Spear Esper will get rid of Mashiri's water weakness, but right now there isn't any good one. Uh, it's kind of awkward to equip a Ramu on Mashiri, uh, unless you really want to counter meta and equip Ramu on Mashiri with 25 water killer and try to both kill water units. But I just don't see that happening, right? Um, so I would say, uh, I would say, uh, if, if you only pulled Mashiri and you didn't pull Ramada, um, try to hunt teams with Agrius, uh, cause, uh, cause, and, or basically hunt ice teams, right, and stay away from the water teams, and that's that. Uh, not much to say about it. Uh, Especially with um, especially with uh, the water card for Eldira, they're clear of Eldira if you have Mashiri. Even with the 20 uh, innate resistance, uh, in, there's a 20 innate resistance to magic and the uh, and the feel bonus. Um, probably still not a good idea to fight Ma uh, Eldira because she's basically buffed up with the card. Uh, all right, I think that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in to Monday Meta. Uh, Hopefully, uh, I can push out another one from next week if the meta changes a bit. 
if it doesn't really change, then it'll probably be like a two week thing, depending on whenever, whatever anything new releases. But yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please comment, leave any comments you have below. Uh, I will respond because I have a very small channel. I'm very likely to respond to everything that you guys post. Uh, and thank you guys for all the support.